No one is perfect, not even the Uggs. But don't tell them I said that. Here are some screw-ups, edits, and extras from the last episode of The Ugly Truth. We call them Ugly Cuts. Oh, is your air... Do you think your air conditioner will go on? It just went off. Oh, okay. Well, then it, then we can't do the five. So, no biggie. Okay. One, two, three, go. Did you say go? Uh, uh you know, I don't know. <laughs> what? Sorry. All right. One, two, three, go. go. Why was that? Why did I bring it up? I was going to tell you something about it. I don't what know. I was like, what were we talking about? And then I well, said, because I was saying, did you want to live there? And no, then you I know, said, really, that, really would. Really, really would. Um, no, I was just, I think I was just kind of changing the subject. I, I feel like I had a, tra- a thought and now it, it, it has escaped my brain. But, um, well, 4th of July, well, like most people, well, people who have, um, you know, white collar type jobs. Yeah. Um, they have Monday off and Tuesday off this week. So right. it's a four day weekend. And so they're, they're going to do going camping or, you know, this is a big camping weekend because of the, where the holiday lies. So that's probably what it is. You know what? I was going to mention this when we were going to be talking about this, that both of your kids have literally landed on the most incon other than the actual <laughs> holiday. They land on the most inconvenient weeks of birth ever. They do. I know. Olivia's 4th of July. Ryan's right around Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yeah. The only other holiday that could be worse is if I had a third baby and it was Christmas. So Pretty much because putting together a birthday party is really the challenge. It's not so much that you can't have fun. It's that... You know, everybody's gone and they're not even in school when their birthdays land. I know. And that's, that's the, the hard part is, is, yeah. you know, Victor says, gosh, she's like, I wish we could have like planned it and sent out invitations. I'm like, Victor, I'm like, they got out of school on Memorial Day. Nobody would have remembered. No one would have that. remembered. And no one's available. Once once school is out, I mean, all bets are off. Everybody does whatever they want. And yeah. so no one would have remembered. <laughs> We, you know, the thing is, is that every year, you know, because we're not super into Fourth of July either. I don't know why we're just not. And you know, our neighborhood is uh, on the older spectrum, and we're there's a couple of kids here and there, but they're not really here. They go and do stuff with other kids. So, right. and our kids are older. Our kids are probably the oldest of the of the neighborhood, and um, yet we're the youngest parents. So it's it's a weird neighborhood makeup and so most people don't do anything in our neighborhood so we used to just go and and watch fireworks but now it's such a cluster to do anything in sacramento and oh, so yeah. the traffic and you know and and people are so volatile that we're like you know what it would just be best if we just if we want fireworks we'll buy some from our fireworks booth and we'll light them off for ourselves and that'll be the end of it and what's so funny is that every year uh, for the past four years, we do that, and ultimately, all of our kids are end up at our house with their friends, and we end up having like fifteen people oh, wow. lighting our lighting off our stupid little fireworks booth fireworks. It was it's really weird how it ends up that way. They're like, "Are you guys doing anything?" Or like, "Well, we bought a couple. We'll, we'll be right over," and then they're over. So those are the best ones. I like those. Yeah, I, I don't like really too. like. Well, you know me. I don't yes. like crowds, and no. I just I don't like going into. But and that's just my personal preference. I, mean, I don't like you know, him either. Do what you will, but right. I you won't find me at like Cal Expo or yeah. At like a Times Square kind of event or something no, like that. No, it, it feels it feels unsafe. But I would imagine from our hotel where we're going, oh, yeah. we'll be able to see something. And they won't hear anything. They'll just be able to watch them from from afar, and it'll so be fun. So we'll go out in the parking lot and see what's going on. That's but. awesome. And then now I'm so excited for you. You booked your Disneyland trip. I did. I'm so, so it was happy. finally confirmed that Victor does not have anything going on the month Praise of September. And Good. so, um, and I told him, I said, okay, I'm like, because <laughs> I said, I am actually doing this. I am really actually doing this. <laughs> you better not, I, nothing's coming up. I'm like, this is a truly paid portion of the trip. It's happening. So let's be sure about this. And he's like, nope, go ahead. Do what you got to do. So 
I purchased plane tickets for yes. Disneyland and I made our hotel reservation. It's so the done. only thing left is to buy the Disneyland tickets, which okay. Victor can do because he's going to be going to Washington, um, not Washington, D.C., but Washington State. for a military right. um training uh, training mm-hmm. and so while he's up there at the military base they have a place where you can buy tickets cool and so he's gonna buy the tickets while he's up there perfect so we'll have all that so the only thing we need is spending money which we have and you can so. save up for that i i wish you could you would have time to go to universal studios so they could go to harry potter world well we might i mean we have three days three day mm-hmm. hoppers and so i mean we have an extra day, basically. Like, well, not an extra day, but... You're there for... Yeah. Your you're hopper is for three of the four days you're there, is what you're saying. Right. And you know, so- and honestly, we did Universal Studios in four hours. Oh, really? Well, because we were really only there for Harry Potter World. I mean, we did do the Universal Studios tour, which I totally think you... Well, for you especially, you should do, because you'll love it. Um, and the kids will... I, I think Ryan will love it. Um but Harry Potter World can take you can you could spend your whole time there and feel like you got your money's worth. Wow, it's so amazing, and the kids, well, uh, Ryan especially, will love it. <clears throat> well, I mean, I <clears throat> it's it just is going to depend because yeah. we got like I said, we're going to get the three day pass to Disneyland, yeah. and mm-hmm. if for whatever reason we feel like we've already seen Disneyland, because we're not get we're not renting a car, we're just going to yeah. Uber. Perfect. So if we decide that on the third day we felt like we saw everything, maybe we'll decide to go over to um, Universal, Universal Studios. You should. It's it's super fun. Super, super fun. Anyway, well, congratulations on finally nailing Yay! down your vacation and taking your children before they're adults to Disneyland. I know. I You've know. only been trying to do this for four years. Seems so. like it. Yep. Seems like so a long So congratulations. Time. I'm finally, I'm so happy. And as it gets closer... You know, I'll offer more more advice, but we'll see until, what happens. Yeah. Now, what hotel? You're not staying at the Disneyland Hotel, right? No, we're staying at the Anaheim Del Sol. <sighs> That's right. Is this the original plan, or uh, why do I think it was not? It wasn't. No, I think the original one was the Desert Inn. Yes. And the Del. I mean, they're all right there. Yeah, so. it's all the, they're all pretty much the same, really. I think this one is right next door to the one that you guys usually stay at. Oh, okay, cool. I think Park so. View, the Park View Inn. Yeah, I think yeah. this one's oh, yeah. at the IHOP. <laughs> yeah, that I'm strip not- of that strip of hotels. I mean, they're 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 probably not, but they feel like they're essentially owned by Disney. Oh, okay. and I mean, it feels. I mean, okay. There's nothing like the Disneyland Hotel, but right. it, they, they're it's Disney completely. I mean, everything's Disneyland. So, yeah. No, I wish we could have stayed at the Disneyland Hotel, but I mean, yeah, it's that's, fun. That's ridiculously. Expensive. It is very expensive. You can make a pay, you can do a payment plan, but I mean, that's when you have like a year, you know, to do it. Yeah. So, but most people don't. Most people go, let's go. And then three months later, they're there. So, right. Yeah. Anyway, well, I'm so glad. I swear, every single day, mm-hmm. Olivia asks me, "What are we doing today?" Like uh, she well, thinks, yeah. she thinks every day we should be going to like rock and jump or bowling <laughs> yeah. or you know some like you know exciting place. And I'm just like, Olivia, we're just staying home. Well, then can we go swimming? And I'm just like, No, I don't want to go swimming today. Then she'll say like, Well, you don't have to swim. You can just watch me. Oh yeah, and I'm like, Oh so yeah, because that's that's fun to sit in the sun and watch you swim (laughs) i read a blurb the other day about a mom who was like people ask what are your kids doing for the summer And they're like actually they're not doing anything this summer i'm letting them sleep in they're being lazy uh they're basically there are no plans you know and that doesn't mean you're not going to do stuff like go fishing or like you said go do stuff during the weekends but it's like no 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 structured plans this year and i don't think there's anything wrong with that it's hard because, you know, kids and parents, I mean, especially when you have school age kids, every single minute is taken for something, whether it's a sport or homework or going to school or whatever. 
summers used to be you were bored and you sat around and you looked at the sky and you ate popsicles and you drank out of the hose and Mm -hmm. rode around on a bike for a few minutes and then it got hot so you came back in and sat down i mean that's what summer used to be like and there's nothing wrong with that happening now yeah really like why why does summer have to be doing something that's it doesn't. the thing and she's like well i'm bored and i'm like i'm Read sorry draw yeah just, there's stuff to do it's not like go clean poor. your filthy room that you destroyed <laughs> the other day or you well know. yeah yeah it's I mean, just it that's just what it is to be so but anyway yeah. so you were gonna say that there's a lot of a. Uh, that is why i watch it and the duggar thing I actually, it's hard because I, I don't feel sorry for them. They're adults. They're they're young adults, but I mean, they're adults. They could walk away from this. They don't have to do this. Yeah, but in some way, they have been a, a bit brainwashed from childhood. Well, I think they're rich. I think they make a lot of money for for their age. They're in their early early twenties, and they're getting paid to be filmed doing nothing other than breeding. And so why wouldn't you? You know what I mean? Especially if you've known that your whole, uh, you know, teenage yeah, but life. Yeah, that's not normal. I mean. It is not normal. And, you know, there's the nothing. The is, is that they've been exploited since yes. young ages. And that so is true. That they've, is true. They've, their parents told them that this is normal. And that's. Right. And that's how I felt about the, the Kate Gosselin thing. Yeah, is, is, that's You true. know, she made her children you know do this making them believe that this is normal when it's it's not a normal life and it's it's just she's exploiting them for money it's true you know it's no it's it's like a form of prostitution in my mind yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't uh i don't disagree with you on that yeah if you like short and round no he's not he wasn't round well, I he wasn't then. No, he was. He w- anyway. <laughs> I'm sure in real life he is not. You know how the how cameras are. But and then what's this one you're watching? Um. So oh, let's do you see. Need, what is it? Oh, you stopped like somebody came in or something. Oh, so no. iTunes decided it wanted to try an update. Oh. Um, <laughs> okay. All right. So. I remembered mine, and now I forgot it. Hold on. It'll come to me. All right. Uh, Ryan told me what it was. What? He, well, um, he, he says, he always asks me every week, he's also, do you have your ugly and awkward moment? <laughs> what he is he, your to, manager? <laughs> he just likes to know what mine are. And so I'm like, well, I have to pick between these three. And so, um, mm. and I... I, so I said one, and then he's like, no, not that one. And then I said the second one. He's like, yeah, do that one. That one was good. Oh, and geez. I can't remember what it was. Oh, no. Well, you want me to do mine, and then you can try to think of yours? <sighs> Dang it. Hold on. And I just remembered it, like, this morning when I was, like, putting the cat down next to him. Oh, <laughs> No, I'll say another one. Okay, um, go ahead. So. Uh, Thanks for checking out this week's Ugly Cuts. Join us for an all new episode dropping every Sunday on your favorite podcast platform and, of course, uglytruth.com. That's U G L E E truth.com. 